Final Pain Ridge Jacks coming to you from Masao Japan, Panku Style today. Uh, today's video is kind of not really focusing on cars. Um, as I told you guys a while ago, July 1st is going to be the first day uh, Panku Style is going to be full up. Actually, Raleigh, I've been full up here for the last two weeks. I took, a, took, a, took some, some time off of work uh, sooner than I thought, and I've been working in two weeks full time. But today, I turned on my CAT card. All you guys up there who are military, work for the government, know what CAT card is. And gives you access to all kinds of cool stuff, so to speak. But anyway, I turned that card in today, and as of today, I can't access base without being signed on. And uh, this is my painting style, is now my only job. And I'm um, very happy to be here. Very happy again for all the guys out there who's been showing support uh, for all over the years and all the new people I've met along the way. Um, again, this video is not really about cars, but it's really about the individual, uh, you guys out there watching. And uh, this really. Uh, uh, you know, giving you guys kind of a quick rundown of, you know, all the stuff I went through to kind of get to where, where I'm in right, right here being in Japan. Uh, so, in a short nutshell, I, I started out then, uh, went to college and all that stuff like that, went to University of Maryland, played football there. Um, that didn't really work out too well, and my grades got really bad, and I decided one day during finals that I was going to sign up for the military. And before I got went to college, it was, I was going to go to Marines, but I got an academic scholarship for like $90,000, and I took that scholarship. Things didn't pan out with playing football. My grades went down as a walk-on, so I left the team, trying to get my grades back up. And then I didn't want to go to school anymore, so I went to the Air Force. Um, uh, you know, about six years in the Air Force, three of those years I spent in Iraq. Um, very dangerous, but good money. And I put, all, I put pretty much every dime into cars. I mean, seriously, every dime went into cars. Um, I joined the military, more so the Air Force, because they had the bases over in Japan. Uh, so came over here and kind of, you know, got really, really, really deep, more deeper into drifting. And then, uh, you know, eventually, you know, I started working on people's cars and doing a lot of things. And then, you know, it hit me like I should just go ahead and make this my job. So about two years ago, there was a shortage in government work and government money. Um, and everybody else was looking for different jobs. And I was like, you know, honestly, I have skill sets. Uh, in Japan, you come here with a lot of skill sets, but being a foreigner, you can't really utilize a lot of them. But the car thing, you know, a lot of Americans here, a lot of Japanese that are in the cars. But, you know, I started like, you know, pondering, you know, maybe I can run my own shop. I've been doing it a while out of my, my house selling parts, working on cars. So I, this building became available and I started looking into it about two years ago. And um, everything just kind of happened from there. There's a lot, you know, a lot more. But what I want to kind of get into is uh, when you guys... When you guys have like plans or you want to do things, there's going to be a ton of people, a lot of people around you saying you cannot do it and it's a stupid idea, you should just be a normal person, go to work 9 to 5 and all that stupid stuff. Um, I don't idolize anybody, I respect people who are like, you know, higher, you know, higher up the chain and, you know, they're further along in whatever their profession, whatever it is. I, I respect them for the work they put in to get there because, I mean, 95% of the night, I mean, I don't have statistics, but... Most people ain't, ain't there because somebody gave it to them. It's because they worked their ass off and they got there. Myself included, I've been doing this 21 years. And, you know, I'm not going to let nobody discredit and degrade the time I put in. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty stern on it. And, you know, now I'm in, a, I'm in a situation where I'm benefiting from all those years. Uh, the time I put in, the long nights. And it, it, it never stops. Still, in, you know, I've only been over for about, like, maybe six months now. So I'm still in that first year period of uh, business. Anybody who's done businesses businesses, or helped set them up and things like that, you know how hard it is. And then if you have started a business in a foreign country, it's double hard because you not only have the business aspect, but you have also, you're a foreigner, you have to prove yourself, you have to prove your worth. And there's a lot of different things I'm still actually working on to get going here. If you got, you know, goals, dreams, and all that stuff, you know, chase them, don't stop. I mean, the minute you let up off of it and say, maybe it's not for me, well, it's not going to be for you. And I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not the type of guy that's going to, that's going to BS you and tell you what you want to hear. Um, you got to work hard for what you want. This video is just pretty much announcing my independence or whatever uh, for the workforce. I've been working since I've been 14 legally. Uh, and, you know, put in my time. And again, now I'm 33 years old and where, I'm where I really, I'm where, I'm where I wanted to be. And we're like, you know, back in, you know, the, the late 90s, early 2000s, this, this was like seriously a dream and it, like seriously I'm living it now. But I don't have time to like, you know, sit back and bask in it. I got to work even harder to, to stay here and maintain and then go further. And that's what I'm about is going higher and going further. Life is very limited. 
I've been in a lot of life and death situations coming from where I'm, I'm from in Baltimore, uh, from Iraq. Um, so I, I do not believe in wasting time and all that stuff like that. So um, you, my message in this whole video is just go out there and get what you want. Uh, you have to take it. You can't be nice about it. Everybody's not going to like you and whatever. You know, that's their problem. You got to do, do what you got to do to get where you want to get and then everything will be good. And then, you know, some new problems that come up, you have to deal with those. That's life problems happen. And that's, uh, unfortunately, that's going to be how it is going to be to the end of time. So nobody can really help you with that. But um, again, I want to thank you guys. Like, really, really thank you guys a lot. All the guys that shared and all that stuff over the years. All the guys who I've just met in this, in this last year of the business. Uh, thank you guys again for the support. And uh, be sure to tune in. And all that stuff is going to be a lot more coming now that I'm here full time. Uh, all the crazy builds that I've been promising over the years that haven't been getting done. I'll be getting those done, customer cars and all that stuff like that. So um, all I can say is, um, you know, if you're, if you're looking for like, you know, somebody who's really into the car scene and all that stuff and all about the real aspect of cars, none of the other garbage out there and the other uh, drama and stuff like that, you know, just, uh, just, just stick with me, uh, share my stuff and, you um, It'll be a fun ride. So, again, uh, thank you guys for signing in. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing, all that stuff again. And um, I'm going to be signing off from Paper Style Masala Japan, uh, Donald Jackson. And I'll see you guys on the next video, which will be very soon. Peace out.